Today we're going to discuss a few topics that are key to know before moving here, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss anything. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cody Elkland, a real estate agent here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you're new here and interested in all things Duluth, hit that subscribe button. And if you are even thinking about moving here, reach out anytime at the email or phone number on the screen below. I would love to help you out. I love hearing from everybody. Now let's talk a little bit more about what it's like living here. There are a few really important items I want to go over today and go into a little bit more detail than we normally do. And the first topic I really do want to discuss is the weather. I talk a lot about the weather, but it plays such an important piece of uh, what to expect here. And uh, whether it's the activities, events we put on, temperature changes, uh, planning on what property type of property you want to purchase, and for like yard maintenance, snow removal, all that stuff. So it's a really important piece of living here, and I, it's a really a big part of why I love living here too. So in summertime, like we're in here right now, every season can be a little bit different than the year before. And so like last summer, it was really dry all summer long. This year, you know, it's rained a lot. Uh, it's slowed down on the rain a little bit, which is nice. Uh, so everything's gotten to dry up a little bit as well, even though it's uh, kind of a rainy, slightly rainy day today. But it's a lot of fun because as everything kind of fills in, you do get more bugs, but it's a lot easier to go out and whether I want to go for like a hike or you're going to the lake for a swim or anything, there's a lot more available to us for that some of that stuff. Uh, the scenery, as you can see behind me, is the trees, the leaves are filled in. Uh, we do put on a lot more events uh, when the weather's nice, but we do those year round as well. So keep that in mind just because uh, we have a a real winter here doesn't mean we don't do any outdoor events. I'll go over that a little bit more too in a second here, but in summertime we we do a lot of outdoor events, whether it's uh, music festivals, uh, ATV rides, big lake events, uh, even down in uh, the city of Duluth in the Bayfront area we do like outdoor concerts and little festivals, uh, whether it's an art festival or anything like that. There's uh, so much going on uh, in the summertime every week you can find something to do, which is a lot of fun. And that's just a really big part of living here. Um, but as we get into like fall time, which is my favorite season, the temperature gets a little wild, but as you get further into fall, it, there's uh, less and less bugs. The temperature starts to cool off, uh, which is one of my favorite parts. But the leaves start changing color, and we're definitely not the only place that has a uh, leaf color change. But it's so amazing having a, a city like this right next to Lake Superior with that kind of view, with the leaf uh, color change. If you go, go up to like uh, the North Shore Scenic Route along Lake Superior, that's uh, my favorite drive, uh, which I try and do as often as possible. But it's uh, got a lot of scenic stops and everything, uh, and a lot of it is next to Lake Superior. You can take it all the way from Duluth to uh, Two Harbors, so uh, it doesn't take too long. Uh, but it's a very cool place, um, but the city has a lot of overlooks and everything uh, that will provide a lot of different views because of like the Duluth Hill here, but uh, it is a lot of fun, and as we get into like November, uh, the leaves will start, uh, should be completely gone or mostly gone, we'll start to get winter-like temperatures in kind of mid-November, even though uh, winter doesn't start until the end of December. We will get snow start sticking around, temperatures will drop more consistently, and so you'll kind of get winter-like feel a little bit more than as we get into the winter, the real winter months. January tends to be the colder month of the year, but uh, every winter can be a little different too. Uh, if, I highly recommend looking at the historical data uh, because the last two winters have been uh, extremes on both ends. <laughs> so two, two winters ago, we broke the snowfall record. And then last winter, we had the least amount of snow. So it was a really bizarre winter last year. Uh, we'll see what this winter is going to be like. Um, but it does provide a lot of activity changes because of the weather changes too. Um, so in wintertime, depending on snowfall and you know temperatures and everything, uh, we have snowmobiling. There's some designated trails. There's ice fishing. Some people will even golf uh, on like frozen lakes and stuff. Um, you know, there's... Hockey is huge. 
Uh, we've got like the Amsoil Arena downtown for like Bulldog hockey and other stuff, but that's uh, a really big deal here as well. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do. I mean, heck, there's dog sledding. The bear grease is put on in the area uh, for the uh, the race. Um, so keep that in mind as well. And just the general scenery is really cool. Some of the sunsets are amazing. Um, but uh, it really changes, you know, what you can do throughout the year. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, planning around to like uh, yard maintenance or driveway maintenance uh, for like snow removal it could be a really big deal uh, in winter time. Um, so keep that in mind when you're deciding what kind of property you want to buy. The bigger the driveway, the more snow removal, that kind of stuff. Um, but all these changing seasons are a really big deal. And same as we get from winter into like springtime, uh, it will be really muddy for a while. So keep that in mind as well. We'll start to get more rain and the snow will melt and uh, trails aren't always uh, open, available for use for everything because they don't want any anybody tearing up the trails uh, if they're, they're muddy, so they want them to dry out and everything. Um, so it can be a really big deal, but uh, I, that's why I like the changing of the seasons with the temperature change. You may be buying uh, more clothes than you ever had if you're coming from a more moderate uh, climate, especially... Uh, from some of those warmer states. <laughs> so keep that in mind uh, uh, as well. Um, just getting used to uh, having all that stuff around or maybe more like yard equipment uh, if you didn't have uh, necessarily a big lot to take care of. Um, so there's all kinds of things that the weather can really affect here uh, that makes it so amazing. And we also have a ton available to us here for a city this size. It is so nice to have access to so many different things, whether it be activities or just the, the retail we have here as well. So you don't always have to leave the area for everything uh, because when you go to a really small area, whether you're just visiting or something, uh, there's a lot less of everything, whether it's just normal retail, hospital services, um, repair shops, contractors, all that kind of stuff. Uh, where we do have quite a bit here. Uh, so definitely look into anything you're considering. So like for retail, that's a really big thing here because we do have all a lot of the main chains. Uh, so if you're looking for like Target, Menards, Home Depot, Walmart, all that, Kohl's, we have Best Buy, we have a ton here. Um, and a lot of it has been built up around the Miller Hill Mall area. That's kind of our central, uh, I would say, retail area uh, where you're going to find it. And it kind of spreads into, like, the city of Hermantown and then and some of, like, the other areas like downtown Duluth Canal Park, uh, a little bit in West Duluth, and some uh, of the residential areas will also have additional retail. Uh, the residential areas will probably have typically more of, like, a gas station, maybe a small grocery store. Uh, could be some small restaurants and coffee shops, things like that. But most of it will be in kind of the mall area and the uh, Duluth airport isn't far from there. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but uh, you're going to find a lot around there. Um, but do keep in mind as well uh, that we also have a ton of small business here. It's we're really big on small business in this area. So there's probably a lot you haven't even uh, heard about known about prior to <laughs> living here or thinking about moving here. So, uh, it's really good to look into that as well, For regardless if it's contractors, uh, clothing shops, anything like that. There's a lot here that aren't just the, the big chain stores. So, uh, And there's been a lot of new development as well. We're adding like more apartment buildings and different things like that uh, into the air, in restaurants and things, uh, which is really nice uh, to see being built in the area as well. So I, I really, uh, really like that that's what's going on. And a few other things uh, to keep in mind as well. Like we have two main hospitals, uh, Sencha and St. Luke's. Uh, Sencha just built their new building. Uh, it's awesome. I, I've been talking about I do wish there was more parking available over there sometimes. But uh, it is nice. They spent a lot of money, almost a billion dollars, on uh, building that out. Um, it's, and there's a ton of hospital services. So you don't always have to leave the area for that either. So... Look into what they have available here, see if you need anything. And we have three main colleges here. 
uh, Lake Superior College, St. Saint Scho- Scholastica, and the <laughs> University of Minnesota Duluth, uh, where I went to college. Uh, so we do have a lot available here for that as well. You don't always have to leave the area uh, just to have access to all that stuff. So that's been really nice. Uh, and they've been building out some of the area around, like, uh, like the Mount Royal area. There's been development over there over the years as well that is totally different than uh, when I went to college. So that's been really cool to see as well. And uh, just a few uh, notes for everybody as well. Like we have the Duluth uh, Convention Center, which is awesome. Uh, we put on bigger events like concerts. Uh, some big music acts will make it here, comedy acts, expos. Uh, different things like that. Uh, so we do have a big facility for that kind of stuff where uh, some smaller places don't necessarily have that size of a facility or the events of that caliber and size. So it's really fun uh, to have access to as well. And then we have tons of different activities, uh, especially with, when it comes to the outdoors. We're big on outdoor access here, so you don't have to make uh, a big trip uh, for the weekend to get somewhere because we do have a lot right here in the area, whether it's uh, the over 100 parks we have access to, the lake walk down by the convention center, Bay, Bayfront area, and Canal Park area. It goes for about eight miles. A lot of it is next to Lake Superior, so there's a lot of direct access to Lake Superior we are really big on because that's such a staple of living in our area. And uh, it's a really important piece uh, uh, of living here is Lake Superior. So you've also you're going to have access to like Park Point, which stretches for about uh, seven miles past the aerial lift bridge down in the Canal Park area. Uh, so if you want a sand beach side right next to Lake Superior, we have that. It's got that ocean-like feel. I love going down there on a really nice day and uh, just going in the water a little bit. Um, but it, it also, Lake Superior can really change with the season because of like if we get stormy weather, uh, it's going to get really wavy, uh, makes for some really cool scenery. Um, but, uh, you know, it's not always something you're going to be, you know, standing in or anything. And, you know, when it gets really wavy, sometimes I'll see surfers out there, uh, which is crazy. I, I don't know that I would ever surf uh, or can surf, <laughs> but it, it's fun to have uh, people doing that here. Um, so there's all kinds of different things uh, we have access to, uh, tons of lakes and rivers uh, nearby as well, within you know, 30 minutes or so. So I love having access to that. Some bigger lakes too, like Island Lake, uh, where we've also got uh, a lot of like public access to different things as well. So not all the lakes will have public access to drop a boat or swim in or anything. Um, some are going to be private for um, just the homeowner or property owners, but we have a lot of different lakes that do have public access, uh, to enjoy. So that's a lot of fun to have here. Well, there you go. There's a little bit more information about what it's like living here in Duluth, Minnesota. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, share it with a friend. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos about Duluth, Minnesota every week. And as always, if you're looking to buy or sell a home here in Duluth or the surrounding areas, reach out anytime at the email or phone number on the screen below. I would love to help you out. 